a bit surprised to see that uh, the uh, five all time against BC. BC has been decent uh, at times. They've been deplorable at other times here in the last five or six years. But uh, that's that's the way it stands in the ACC at this point. Uh, Virginia off to its best start since 2007. So because of the record, because of the opponents upcoming after BC and Pitt, especially, as you well know, Matt, if, if you get wins there or split those two games, you're still going to be in really good position to get a uh -huh. decent bowl berth. Uh -huh. uh, and who knows past that. And because of the opposition, more attention, more eyeballs, more prime time type uh, uh, television slots are going to come your way. So for those people that haven't seen Virginia play this year, uh, who are some of those players on both sides of the ball that you're excited about? Well, so we talked about Ellis. We talked about Ben Kurt. Um, the most electric guy on offense is, is Alameda Zacchaeus, uh, wide, leading wide receiver. Uh, he's currently on pace um, to break the single season receptions record. I mean, we're only halfway through the season, but he's currently on pace for like 86 catches. Um, he had a he took one to the house in an 81 yard catch and go. Um, on Saturday against North Carolina that ended up being the game clincher. Um, and that guy is still just electric. Um, he scored on a similarly um, fantastic play on a jet sweep against Boise State that really kind of uh, sealed the deal for Virginia in that game. Um, he had a long touchdown catch, I think, against UConn. Um, so he is uh, he's a playmaker, and he's a guy to – to watch for every time he touches the ball. And Virginia's done a, a much better job this season of getting him the ball um, in prime position than they did last year. Um, so he's a guy to watch uh, on defense. Um, it's really, you know, you, you have Micah Kaiser, you have Quinn Blanding, um, two guys that, that could potentially both be all Americans. Um, and it's hard to say too much about them. Uh, Blanding is probably one or two games away um, from becoming the school's all-time leading tackler. Uh, if it doesn't happen this weekend against uh, Boston College, it should happen the weekend, uh, the following weekend against Pitt. Mike Kaiser has been just a beast. Um, you know, he, he delivered a hit on the UNC quarterback on Saturday, uh, which, which led to UNC's third interception, um, and he's just been everywhere. Um, but the real story, I think, for Virginia on defense, in addition to, to Blanding, has just been the play of the secondary. Um, Virginia lost uh, senior cornerback Tim Harris in the first game of the year. And so Bronco Mendenhall just, he took uh, junior Juan Thornhill, who was supposed to be at safety. He moved him back to cornerback. Um, and then redshirt freshman, uh, former walk on, a guy named Brenton Nelson, has moved uh, to start at uh, strong safety next to Blanding. Um, and he has, uh, he's, he's played phenomenally. I think he has three interceptions on the year. Um, and they have Bryce Hall at the other corner who, um, you know, between him and Thornhill, um, the secondary has just been, has just locked receivers up the last two or three weeks. Um, you know, I think Carolina threw for something like 46 passing yards. Um, Duke, you know, has had a similarly rough passing day. So the, the Virginia secondary is the best that it's been in a really long time. Yeah, that is the fewest uh, North Carolina passing yards in a game since 2000. Now, I know that uh, North Carolina fans are starting to get accustomed to the skills or lack thereof of Brandon Harris. Uh, yeah. LSU fans could fill them in a little bit on that. But uh, still, uh, whatever he was, 6 of 17 for 46 yards, uh, regardless of uh, uh, what derogatory uh, comments uh, a lot of LSU and North Carolina fans would say about Brandon Harris. He certainly has a track record of throwing for more than 46 yards a game. It's usually in the yep. 150 to 200 yard range. So regardless of the mistakes he's made in clutch situations, he certainly produced yardage and, and he was completely shut down in that game.